What's up, Gorman? With the change of seasons, we decided to go around and ask your fellow students and faculty what their favorite part about fall is. Is leaves, scarves, orange, the color, boots, and for me this year, moccasin. The leaves and the colors. Pumpkin patches. Best part about fall, well, you know, it's uh, you put on my big flannels, my Ugg boots, go get my PSLs, you know, just keep it basic in the fall. The weather changing. Yeah. Haunted houses. <laughs> we have the start of NHL, NCAA hockey, we have the World Series, NFL, college football, high school football is in full swing. We have deer hunting, grouse hunting, and carving pumpkins with my man Thorvald. Football season. The change of weather. Like the seasons, our lives are always changing. During this time, we look to God for guidance on how to persevere through these obstacles. Now let's ask God for guidance. Please stand up for the prayer and pledge. And remember, we're in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, help me to turn to you for change. As I begin to change my behavior, I ask that you help me think about this through your eyes and your love. Help me to process my thoughts and desires. Also, please help me to turn to you. Help me, awaken me to your love, presence, and depth of love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best Friday ever, Bishop Gordon? Because BGB's coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. It's spooky season! <laughs> Gorman, I'm Aiden Nyhoff, and I'm Austin Flores, and this, and this is, is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Friday, October 11th, and it's Cardi B's birthday, as well as National Sausage Pizza Day. We've got a saucy show today, so let's jump into it. To kick things off, let's see what theater has in store for us in their show, Romeo and Juliet, coming to, coming to Gorman this weekend. Luis and Maya have more. My name is Maya Engelberg, and I'm with theater to discuss the Romeo and Juliet play. How I prepared was actually more of following this guy around a little bit. We always like sat near each other or, you know, we hung out and made sure like, you know, we'd always check up on each other, trying to like be one. Um, the hardest part for me was making it not so much like overly romantic or, cause that's, that gets boring with Shakespeare cause it's been done over and over again. And the hardest part for me was finding the humor in it. And uh, that just came with doing it over and over again. Um, I think people should come see this show because the incorporation of the Shakespeare, the heightened language of Shakespeare with the music and dance, I think that's something that's never been done before with Shakespeare. And I think it would just draw in the audience a lot more. Um, and I think they would really be interested in this show. I just like study Julia like crazy. So then when I go on stage, I like already know how the soul like would react to different situations because that's how the actor is reacting. So I really just like put myself in her shoes and that's just how the dancer Juliet comes out. <laughs> I've always loved the play Romeo and Juliet, but I didn't want to do it the typical way. So I didn't want to do it in the Renaissance period with big, these big costumes and, and you know everyone fencing. I wanted to make it more gritty and more real. And the New Yorker that I am, the best place to put it, it would be in New York City. So I moved it to Lower Manhattan in 1857, during the time of the gang wars. I changed the, 
the um, Capulets are the Bowery Boys, and the um, Montagues are the Dead Rabbits. So there's a lot of historical undercurrents um, in this show that makes it more topical, more real. Especially during this time, there's a lot of hate going on, unfortunately, and we want to choose love over hate. This is Maya Engelberg signing off from BG TV. Congratulations to Jaden Sadeko and Lily Martin for ranking second place overall for Dance Duo Trio at the 2019 Shakespeare competition. A lot of things are going down at campus ministry. In fact, right now, students are attending the Kairos retreat. Also, the Lebanese American Festival is on October 11th through the 13th. You can also sign up for the Celebrate Heroes event on October 11th. Go to Campus Ministry to find out more. Speaking of Campus Ministry, we have a service opportunity that you should participate in, the Alzheimer's Walk. We talked to Miss Foy and Mrs. Andrews for more. The Alzheimer's Walk is, is uh, set up so that we can ideally raise money. And we want to raise a lot of money and so that we can find a cure because what ideally we'd like to do is get rid of Alzheimer's altogether. We want to, we want to find a cure for it, have it out of here, and never come back. What we have found out is that Bishop Gorman uh, sets up a team and we are able to raise some nice money to give to the Alzheimer's Association to work on their research and uh, we also can provide uh, team members with three service hours. If they join our, our, our group and walk with us and uh, donate a minimum of $5. Well, we have almost 6 million people in the United States suffering from Alzheimer's disease right now. So we like to play our part here at Bishop Gorman High School in helping to find ultimately a cure, um, at the very least a treatment. And we've been very successful. This is our 15th year of having a uh, team BGHS and raising funds and the Alzheimer's Association is, uh, is very receptive to our participating and also very appreciative of our participation. Uh, we want um, everyone at Bishop Gorman High School to become aware of Alzheimer's disease and unfortunately we're finding that a lot of our students already are aware because they have family members suffering from Alzheimer's disease, sometimes within their own homes and they and their parents are caregivers and we want to see an end to that. Don't forget Miss Andrews' challenge. For everyone who signs up for the walk and donates five or more dollars, Miss Andrews will donate an additional two dollars. So let's take her up on that challenge. Now let's pass the ball over to Jack. What's up, Bishop Warman? Sports have been killing it lately, so I'm here to fill you in. The football team played Dio this past, fr past Friday, destroying them, 49 to six. They play Sierra Vista tonight at Sierra Vista at 7. Go out and support. Our women's volleyball team ranked 21 out of 96 this past weekend at their Nike tournament. They won three sets to zero against Spring Valley last Monday. They play in the Redondo tournament this week. Way to go, girls. The boys and girls tennis team both made it to the regionals. They won against Sierra Vista on Thursday and played Clark next Monday. Best of luck. If you are interested in playing women's lacrosse, Join them next Monday and Tuesday at 5 to start off fall ball. To finish it off, Bishop Gorman's very own Noah Tates recently committed to Stanford University to play D1 basketball. Way to go, Noah. That's all I have for this week, Bishop Gorman. I'm Jackson Taylor. Catch you next time. Thanks, Jackson. That's all we have for today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Aiden Nyhoff. And I'm Austin Flores. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV. BG